in our Gaia's Custodians Telegram group, there's an interesting conversation going on about the fact whether it is, it is unethical to buy an untouched piece of land. From Berlin Airport after almost two years I'm back in my hometown only for two days two very packed very exciting very full very important very beautiful days let's go to close an old organization that I founded many many years ago that's not longer used yeah cleaning up <laughs> cleaning up waiting for me for a long time now because I haven't been in Berlin now I finally completed it yesterday I shared with you that we probably found our place that we signed an agreement with the owner of a beautiful piece of land um, about our shared intention to purchase respectively sell this land and in regards to that in our Gaia's Custodians Telegram group, there's an interesting conversation going on about the fact whether it is, it is unethical to buy an untouched piece of land. Right now, we are very far from untouched pieces of land. So, the thing is, Bali is one of the hottest destinations in the world right now for people to buy land and to start projects there which is nice because it brings many creative talented people many resources many ideas to the island and at the same time more and more of oh, more and more of the island gets gets built on and more and more of the of the natural beauty of the biodiversity gets destroyed so what I see as our intention is to first and foremost prevent this land from being converted into a huge villa complex or resort that just <laughs> puts a concrete foundation like makes the land flat and then builds something on top of it which is something that we will never do <laughs> like all the all the buildings that I see on this land are semi-permanent meaning tents, little wooden cabins, little, little bamboo little bamboo dwellings so nothing that can be removed after it served us so when we will no longer inhabit this land everything can develop back to its original state so if we will not acquire this land build in a very sustainable very low footprint kind of way only on a small portion of the land and plant even more trees than they are right now somebody else will buy it and probably build a a lot more harmful 
project on this land. I'm in Berlin. I am, no doubt, I am in Berlin, the place where I was born, where I grew up. Feels simultaneously very far away and very unreal and still on a subtle level very familiar <laughs> wow if there's one thing that I missed from Germany it's the incredible diversity quality and accessibility of organic stuff oh my god Look at this. I just did a little shopping tour for tomorrow's Custodiapreneur's Day. As much as I love these YouTube videos where somebody went into like the middle of a desert, bought a land there, which is super dry, infertile, nothing is growing there, and then transforming it into an incredible food forest and regenerating this piece of land. I love these videos. But where I am on my journey into permaculture, sustainable architecture, living in alignment with the land and so on, which is very at the beginning, I don't see myself capable of doing that. This will be something for a future part of the journey, maybe, probably. I'm very fascinated by that. And for now, I see myself beginning where I am, where I am at home in the mountains of Bali. Yeah. And learn there and develop the capacities and the skills for other projects of a different kind that may be coming in the future yeah and one more thought the land that we intend to buy is not in the protected batucaru forest like the really the primal primeval forest you cannot buy land there this is protected like really the the forest that is the same since like hundreds and thousands of years you cannot do anything there so the land that we are acquiring already had like multiple owners before somebody planted trees somebody like cut the grass and so on so it's not it's not a wasteland and it's not an untouched um, land either it's somewhere in between the ideal training ground for honing my skills it seems to me Guck mal. Ja, hier, das mussten sie da kommen noch. It's already quite late. Like crazy Berlin summer. It's already past nine and the sun just set. In Bali it would have been dark for three hours already. Well, we had a beautiful afternoon. We went to the cemetery where my grandma is, my other grandma, and the mother of my mom. Since two years, fortunately, she got to know Leo. She passed away uh, three weeks after Leo's birth. We had one phone call, one video call, a couple of days before she passed away. and. I think she waited, she waited for Leo, she waited for for seeing her great grandson and then she could happily, happily go, yeah, we went to the cemetery and yeah, had a nice dinner, spent some family time, my brother is here too and <sighs> I talked to my mom about coming to Bali, about coming with me in two weeks after I come back from Custodia, Poland and she said yes my mom is coming to Bali with me mm. <sighs> I 
excited, excited, very, very excited. Slowly but gradually bringing the whole family together. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I sense that the long flight <sighs> left a little bit of traces. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back gonna go to bed early today tomorrow is another exciting day here in Berlin with our custodia Brunois looking forward to that see you tomorrow